Wisteria2909 back for another episode of Reading the Wrong Way. So we're going to switch things up a bit this month with a sci-fi series based off of an American novel series. This time I'm going to be reviewing the Daniel X the Manga based on the series of the same name written by James Patterson. Now I've never read the original series but I will end up reading the fourth and fifth volumes of the novel form because there aren't currently any other manga volumes out. So this review is strictly going to be based on the three manga volumes that are currently in print. The series is rated T for teens. I think this is a good rating considering the original series is also aimed at teens. There is some violence in it, but I wouldn't say there's anything too gruesome for it to garner a more mature rating. The aliens can be pretty creepy looking, but that's a matter of personal opinion since everybody has a different perception of what creepy is. There are currently three manga volumes out, however the original series has five released. For those interested, from the book descriptions it does seem like the manga volumes follow the overall story of the novel they're based on, so I would assume this is very similar to the Cirque du Freak manga adaptation. As a young child, Daniel X witnessed the murder of his parents at the hands of the universe's most dangerous criminal, the Prayer. Twelve years later, at age 15, Daniel has become the Earth's only alien hunter, tracking down intergalactic criminals and his ultimate prey, the Prayer. He has a unique ability to create anything he can dream up, including his parents, sister, and his best friends. They help him on his hunts, offering advice and companionship. He can also transform himself into any form he can imagine. But he decides to skip over the small fry and focus on the deadliest of aliens, starting with number six on the list. Follow Daniel as he hunts the most dangerous of aliens, while learning more about himself and his powers. So what do you need to know about the series? The series is sci-fi and geared more towards a male audience, but I think female readers can find enjoyment in it. While there is fighting, because Daniel is still young and learning about himself, there's also a fairly large focus on character relationships and development. Among Daniel's friends, we also find the general stereotypes. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Daniel is a little reckless and tends to jump into things that are way over his head. Will is his wingman and he's kind of the mechanic in the group. Joe is the jokester and glutton in the group. M, way over here, is Will's sister and loves nature and animals. And Dana is the beautiful love interest who is incredibly kind and understanding to everyone. I also want to mention that this series reads in the western way of left to right. So if you're new to manga or uncomfortable reading in the usual Japanese format, this would be a really good series to start with. The artwork to me seems like a mix of both shonen and shoujo depending on the panel. When there's fighting or any form of action, the lines are very thick and more black is used. However, I feel the characters themselves are quite reminiscent of shoujo style, with great detail in the hair and the main characters all having rather large expressive eyes. Daniel is also very sarcastic and will often overreact and take on a chibi appearance, lightening some of the more tense action scenes. Unlike most manga series, there are no extras in this series aside from some color pictures and panels at the beginning of the manga and character sketches after chapters. There aren't any mini comics or author's notes. That's about all I can say about this series. I highly recommend the manga for anyone that enjoys sci-fi, alien, science, and team-focused series. Of course, if the story sounds interesting but the manga doesn't look like something you'd be interested in, you could always look into the original novels. At this point, I haven't seen any indication they'll be releasing beyond the third volume, which was released in 2012, so you may wish to consider that as well. Otherwise, I hope you'll give this manga a try. I also wanted to say that if you watched to the end of my last video, you'll know that I went to an anime convention recently. Um, luckily, this um, review video didn't get delayed because of it. I had some concerns, but they're all right on time. Um, I did take a few pictures, so I uploaded a slideshow of it. Unfortunately, I didn't get as many as I would have liked because it was really cold and we were running from panel to panel. But hopefully you'll check that out, and if you happen to be in it, particularly in the cosplay chest or the cosplay dating game, um, feel free to comment. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and also, I took two videos from the cosplay dating game that I have to upload separately. So um, if you were in those, um, feel free to comment on them or whatever you feel like. So I hope you'll check them out, and I hope you'll be with me next month when I review another series. See you next time! When I was given freedom, oh, all I did was flee. When I turned back, there was nothing to see. You closed your toes before I could open mine. Now I know, now I see, it was a waste of time. 
which is why um, this video was potentially going to be late. Oh, well, there's my cat. Um, and I had a lot of fun, and I took some pictures. I didn't get as many as I had hoped because it was really cold and we were running from place to place. Wow. All right, then.